Hey everyone and welcome to the first of my videos updating all the weapons brought by our favourite salt trader, Barricadeer. Now I've got to the stage where writing video needs updating in the description of my barrier videos and honestly it's kind of getting a little bit annoying now. So here we are going over and updating them all. So today we're going to start with a weapon which it's been nearly a couple of years since I did a build for and recently it got a bit of a buff in the balance change and that is the upgraded Detron, the Mara Detron. A Corpus Hand Cannon, you can buy it from Barry for 500 ducats and 200,000 credits whenever he brings it, and you can pretend to be one of those pesky Detron crewmen for a bit. Once you've done that though, you have a weapon with 280 damage a shot, and that's split into 7 uh, pellets because this is a hand cannon. The damage comes as pure radiation too, which means you're going to do some awesome damage against alloy armoured units like Bombards or a lot of the Corpus Robotics. Um, the raw stats show basically where it's going to shine though, only an 8% critical chance and 150% damage multiplier. You're not going to be heavily invested into building for crit here, even with how strong those pistol crit mods are. However, its 32% status chance means that it can hit that holy grail of shotgun stats, and that is 100% status. It does take either all four dual, uh, dual stat mods or a good ribbon though, but that means that every single pellet will proc a status effect. So combine it with something like corrosive and you are going to strip armor so fast it's not even funny. One thing in the raw stats that's actually worth mentioning now is it's actually very accurate and the spread has been reduced. It's not something that it was before the buff, um, the spread was all over the place and it really wasn't very accurate at all. So while beforehand you were pretty much forced into using targeting subsystem to be able to land even a few pellets on target, that is not necessary now. Not only do you land more shots than ever, we also gain a mod slot back too, which is awesome. It's not all awesome though. While the reload speed of only one second isn't too bad, the fact that you only get 8 rounds in the magazine means you're reloading almost all of the time. At which point that one second reload does actually feel kinda clunky. Also because of how shotgun status works, it's not worth building for status unless you're hitting that magic 100% status chance. It really locks you into certain elemental combos that might not be particularly wanted, like for example Corrosive and Blast. Not everybody likes Blast, so being locked into that is unfortunate. The Detron also comes with a weapon specific mod, the Magnetic Shells. This means that enemies that die to the Detron will explode, doing 80 magnetic damage plus 40% of the enemy's max health in a 6 meter area. It's very similar to the extremely impressive Acid Shells, except for a couple of things. Firstly, it's magnetic damage, which is one of the worst damage types in the game by far, and that range of just 6 meters is quite pathetic, quite frankly. So, compare you know, compare that to the 15 meters of acid shells. Honestly, this mod is pretty terrible. I just would not recommend it at all. In terms of how I went building it though, it doesn't come with any polarities at all, so I added 5 on here. Ignore the fact that it says 8, that comes from years of changing builds. But I've got 4 V's and a dash on here to be able to fit everything that I want, plus a little bit of personal choice. So we have our standard mods, Hornet Strike, Barrel Diffusion, Lethal Torrent, the 4 dual stat mods in whatever order you want. You can have Corrosive Blast, Radiation Viral or Magnetic and Gas as your combinations here. But if you're modding for status you need all 4 mods. Then the last slot can be whatever you want. I normally put an elemental mod in there to match whatever I want to be my dominant damage type. For example, in the picture you've got Convulsion in there to boost up my corrosive damage, but it could be almost anything. Seeker also works amazingly well in this slot for punch through and that allows you to hit multiple enemies. Orca Pact is an option too, to boost all of the damage types that are on the weapon. And if you really, really must, uh, really want to or just want to mess around with it, you can put the magnetic shells in there, but I'm not going to recommend it anyway. Um, there's definitely a little bit of room for personal preference here with the final slot though, that's for sure. So what do I think of the new and improved Mara Detron? Honestly, I think it's fantastic. As a secondary weapon hand cannon, there are very few weapons that can strip the armor off an enemy as quickly as this can. The footage of the assault in the background is actually an enhanced armor sortie, no corrosive projection again. So you can see how quickly it can finish off, I mean these are only mid level enemies, but they are way tankier than they really should be. Even then, che you know, check now, check the footage from the simulacrum, you can see how quickly it shreds these heavy gunners. Just watch that armour disappear, there are very, very few things that can strip it as effectively as Amara Detron does. I have been a huge fan of the one handed weapons recently, 
especially when combined with a throwing weapon like the Glaive. But the Morodetron has some incredible synergy with Condition Overload. When you've got a 100% status build, and for example, Corrosive and Blast, because the uh, weapon is base radiation, it has three proc types available, the Corrosive, the Blast, and also the Radiation. And that means it's going to almost always proc all three in a shot. So shoot with your Marodetron, get all three procs, and then throw your Glaive for some really nice damage. It takes a lot of... It's a lot of fun bullet jumping around, spreading procs, throwing the Glaive. Really, this is actually one of the most fun additions to the game in a very long time. I didn't really play with it that much when it was originally released, but I've really come to enjoy it a lot over time. The buffs to the Marodetron really have made it a very good weapon now. I know a lot of people didn't really enjoy it before, the huge spread meant that actually applying any damage with it was very very difficult, but the decreased spread, the increased accuracy and the new 100% status has transformed it. I personally am going to be looking for a ribbon for this, more multi-shot, more status is what I'm looking for. I'll probably get rid of one of those dual stats and it gives me more control over my damage types that I'm going to be procking. I honestly think that this is worth another look. It really is a very solid weapon and deserving of a second chance. So I hope you enjoyed my second look at the Marodetron. I'll have a Barrow video each day now until they're all updated. So I hope you're looking forward to that. But for now, many thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next video.